Now, the United Nations Security Council expected to hold an emergency meeting on the current situation in the Middle East six months after Hamas attacked Israel. The conflict has since escalated. Tension in the Middle East has been building on several fronts in addition to Israel's war in Gaza. Last night, Iran launched attacks on Israel as part of retaliation after the killing of an Iranian diplomat or diplomats in Syria. For more on this now live is Naim Gino, is executive director of uh, Afro Middle East Center. Uh, Mr. Gina, thank you very much indeed for your time. We appreciate it such short notice. I mean, we're hearing from our reporters on the ground, our correspond, this is absolutely unprecedented. And what they describe on the ground of missiles and loud bombs uh, 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 going off, talk to us about uh, uh, whether this had been expected or not at the scale at which we're seeing currently. So certainly, of course, uh, at a public level, we expected that there would be some kind of a response from Iran because Iran promised that there would be. And on Eid day last week, the um, supreme leader of Iran um, made that promise that there would be a response to Israel's attack. Now, let's let's be clear. Israel's attack wasn't just simply a matter of killing a diplomat or two. They attacked the consulate, which is sovereign, um, a sovereign Iranian territory. Um, no country would accept that that their consulate or embassy would be attacked in this way and not respond. It's also a violation of uh, of the Vienna Conventions. So we all expected that there would be some response. We were not sure what that would be. It's clear that Iran, uh, in a sense, coordinated this attack with the United States, um, informed the United States beforehand, and the United States informed Israel beforehand uh, of, of what would take place um, in order for Iran to ensure that its attack would not be, let's say, disproportionate number one, and number two, so that the U.S. might ensure that after the Iranian response, um, Israel would not escalate. So from the Iranian perspective, the response last night was was proportionate um, and commensurate with, with the attack on its consulate. And as far as Iran is concerned, it's now over and done, tit for tat. Um, it now depends on whether Israel decides to escalate it further. And I think that's what we're waiting for. Yeah, and I think everyone is looking to what the international community will say about this. We were expecting word uh, from the United Nations Security Council a bit later on today. How should the world be responding to this? How should the United Nations, uh, obviously, uh, speaking to our correspondent on the ground in Tel Aviv, telling us uh, you know, that uh, the expectation, I guess, would be uh, for a call for a, a ceasefire. Uh, but what should the, how should the world be responding to what we're seeing now? to avoid this kind of es escalation that uh, we could possibly anticipate. Well, the thing, of course, is that the the world should have responded after the 1st of April yeah. and condemned Israel's uh, violation of the, of the Vienna Convention and attack on sovereign territory of another country. Um, the world, in uh, as such, didn't. The United Nations didn't. The United States didn't. In fact, the United States' response was that um, they will defend uh, Israel. There's an ironclad uh, defense and whatnot. Um, European states said nothing. Last night, after Iran's response, all of them suddenly woke up and decided that something had happened. Um, so, so this is the problem. It's the kind of um, double standard and hypocrisy is the problem. In fact, if there was a strong response, verbal response and diplomatic response after the 1st of April, we might have seen last night's action being even more measured than it was. I mean, it was very measured. No one was killed. And so talk about, you know, uh, blood being spilled. Well, no one was killed uh, last night, uh, as opposed to the uh, Israeli one. However, we should, we would expect that in the Security Council debate later today, that all of the Western states would uh, condemn Iran, uh, condemn Israel. Um, they will call, call for uh, no escalation, um, but the, the focus of it would be to, to condemn Israel. If there's a stronger resolution than simply that, or perhaps even that, there's a good chance it will be vetoed by, uh, by either Russia or China or both, uh, both of whom are allies of Iran. Um, and so it will be nothing. Um, if a resolution is presented that condemns uh, Israel's attack and um, uh, Iran's response, then there's a good chance that it'll pass. Yeah. Uh, what are we likely to see the effects of 
all of this in the next uh, uh, coming days. You've already spoken about uh, the indecisiveness uh, or, or, or the lack of decisiveness on the part of, uh, uh, you know, important bodies like the United Nations Security Council. And uh, what are we expecting the effects of all of this to be in the next uh, few days? Well, from from the from the from the United Nations, it's today. I don't think much more than than today will happen. Um, even if a resolution is passed in terms of its uh, effect, um, you know, you can condemn Iran and condemn uh, Israel, whatever you like. Um, it's not going to have any practical impact. And uh, if if a resolution and this is unlikely, if a resolution calls on Israel uh, not to escalate further, well, we know that Israel is uh, uh, very keen on violating all. UN resolutions, as it has done in the past six months, as well as uh, provisional measures issued by the International Court of Justice. So, so today's debate will have no practical uh, impact. What we need to look out for in the next few days is whether Israel accepts that um, that what we saw last night was Iran's tat for its tit, mm. um, and and whether Israel accepts. Uh, the United Na uh, the the, U the uh, United States plea that it doesn't escalate. Um, right now, that's not certain. Um, Iran is a much more rational actor uh, militarily and politically than Israel is. Um, Israel is the Israeli government is made up of lots of um, very hateful and racist right wingers, uh, who frankly, uh, many of whom want a regional war. Uh, Netanyahu himself sees a war, a regional war, as allowing him to perpetuate his uh, his prime ministership even uh, beyond, uh, to save him from the courts and to save him politically. And so we're not sure that Israel will say, okay, it's done and, and it's over. They might decide in the next few days uh, to launch an attack on Iran. And if that happens, then we're looking at something much more serious because Iran will not, as it demonstrated yeah. last night, will not sit back and uh, accept an attack, for example, on its nuclear facilities. Yeah, let's see how all of this uh, unfolds in the next couple of hours. It will be very interesting uh, to watch uh, what the response, of course, will be from the United Nations Security Council. Thank you very much indeed. Naim Gina, who is the executive director of uh, Afro Middle East Centre.